Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. So I wanted to answer a question that a subscriber gave me that I'm actually quite interested in as well, which was um, what is the difference between Purina Pro Plan brand dog foods and just straight up like Purina One, Purina, all the millions of Purina things that are out there. And so I think that's a good question and we're gonna find out hopefully today what's the deal with that. So if you go to Purina's website, um, you can actually look through the tons of brands that Purina makes. So Purina is owned by Nestle and they have diversified into all of these different brands, which they're not even all listed here. Um, more brands on this side. So you can see they make a ton of brands and I tried to, I kind of looked at this website in advance and I tried to find out on their website if they talked about which brands and what they mean and why they make them and what are the difference. I couldn't find it. So I think what we're going to end up having to do is call them and see if anybody in customer service can help explain this to us. But just a rundown, they make Alpo, they make Vegan, Bella, Beneful, Beyond. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Puppy Chow, um, Purina One, which was the one that was specifically asked um, for us to review, Purina Pro Plan, um, just wagon train, things I've never even heard of before. And so I was hoping that they would have a breakdown on their website that would be easy to understand, but they don't. And so we're going to have to call and find out why there are so many brands and what are the differences and which one should we be feeding. So let's see, we don't want to email, we're going to call, hopefully, get somebody. So let's put it on speaker, if I can figure that out. one 800 Seven, four, six, two. Thanks for calling Purina. We are pet lovers like you, and we're always working to improve life for you and your pet. We look forward to speaking with you shortly. To help serve you better in the future, your call may be monitored or recorded. If you are calling regarding coupons, please press 7. To speak with the next available engagement specialist about all other topics, please press 9 now. Your feedback is extremely important to us. Please stay on the line after your call for a short five question survey. Wait a minute. The pioneer woman makes a pet food. We'll have to do a review on that. Oh my goodness. Look at those cute kibbles. We realize your time is valuable. Instead of holding, for immediate assistance, please chat with us online. Go to www.purina.com and click on chat with a pet advisor. Yeah. Thanks again for your patience. Try that. Write us, email us. Ah, yes, a pet chat advisor. We'll see who we get first. Okay. Chatting with Zai. We're pet lovers like you, <gasps> and we're always working to improve life for you and your pet. We look forward to speaking with you shortly. I'm gonna just go off the phone there. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chat with Zai. Alright, so we have Zai. So um yes, I was wondering if you could help me understand the difference between Purina 1 and Purina Pro Plan. This chat function is really interesting. If this works, this might be a good thing. 
says the uh, agent is typing. She's happy to help. <laughs> I think there's gonna be a lot of cuts in this video where we're gonna have to like speed through this. Oh, they're treats. Okay, they're not. Um, they're not kibbles. They're they're treats. But still, it's hard to evaluate treats because um, there's no standard for what goes on a treat because they're a treat. So mainly, I just look at calories on treats just to make sure when you're giving a treat, you're not giving some crazy amount of calories. So oh, here we go. All right, so I got back to us. Pause on the treats for a second. Okay, uh, Zai says, um, Purina One formulas offer 100% complete and balanced nutrition made with real meat, poultry, and fish as a number one ingredient, and they offer a variety of wet and dry made with delicious ingredients that your dog will enjoy. The Pro Plan products feature a more specialized nutritional platform offering recipes formulated for the specific needs of dogs, including working dogs or those with unique health issues or dietary requirements. Okay, I think I know, I understand what they're doing. All right, so I'm gonna tell Zai thank you. I think what we're going to have to do is um, look at a couple, a couple bags and get in, of just pick random bags of just like a, the generic um, adult foods and then kind of go through um, what they have. And so basically, um, well, let's finish up with this treat really quick. I'm getting like ADD here of the dog food. So let, let's finish up with the treat really quick. And then we'll, we'll do that just because I'm interested in the treat. If you do not want to learn about the treat, I'll put a timestamp and you can just fast forward to the food part. But we're going to have a little uh, nutritional ADD and look at the treats real quick. So calorie content, 34 K cows per piece. Okay. So... Um, 34 calories a piece. So if you have a big dog like my dog Sable that weighs 150 pounds, 34 calories on a 1200 calorie daily allotment is no biggie, right? But if you have a small dog like a Chihuahua or a even like a Jack Russell, something that weighs 10, 20 pounds, 34 calories is quite a bit because they probably only have like a th maybe a 300 to 400 calorie allotment. So 400 calories. Um, so what is 34 uh, calories? That is what percentage of that? It's almost 10%. Not quite 10% because 10% of 400 would be 40. So almost 10% of your de your pet's daily allotment would come from that treat. And we know we just can't give one. We always give like two or three. So if you have a big dog, these are probably fine. If you have a small dog, you probably have to limit it to, you know, one or two treats a week, max. So, all right, let's just get back to what we were actually talking about, which was picking, a di or what is the difference or trying to pick between Purina 1 and Purina Pro Plant. A um, couple things that I'm thinking based on the response that I got. One is there is very little difference. It is probably more of a marketing thing. The Purina One brand um, is probably a good food. We'll look through some labels and see what it is. The Purina Pro Plan is one of, sounds like it's gonna be one of more of their premium brands where they're focusing on specific needs like working dogs and things like that, which basically is just saying they're gonna change the package and maybe add a little bit here or there to say, okay, if you have a working dog, this is what you need to be, or if you have you know some sort of a um, dietary sensitivity or something, they're trying to cater to that. Um, Purina Pro Plan, um, I guess, is the step right below maybe the Purina prescription diet. So it's like a segue between the Purina One, which generally you can get in things like grocery stores, and um, Purina Pro Plan, which you'll generally get in more pet food stores, and then your Purina Veterinary Diets, which you will get in the veterinary, you know, um, veterinary office or um, places that sell prescription pet food. So I think that's what that is. Um, but let's just do a little, oh, I clicked cat. I do need to do some reviews on cats. We haven't done very many cat reviews, but let's just stick with the dog for now because I think that's what the question specifically was asking. So Purina One, um, 
You'll recognize the bag is always kind of the red bag and has the big one on the front of it. Let's just pick um, just regular adult, just for funsies. I'm not gonna do a high protein or anything like that. I don't really believe in that kind of stuff for a number of reasons we can get into later. Let's just go with the chicken and rice formula because that's pretty basic. And C, animal feeding tests, which is, I love to see that. Feeding tests substantiate that Purina One Smart Blend Chicken and Rice Formula of complete and balanced nutrition for adult maintenance. Awesome. Let's pick up something, which is our standard. One second. Okay. I am back. And I got our parameters here. And let's just see what if there's a difference between like just basic adult formula. So, um, oh, sorry about that. One second. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so let's see here for a second. Do apologize for that. I had a phone consult with my sister about Nico. If you didn't get to watch Nico's video <laughs> about his GI surgery, feel free to watch that. So just had to do a little phone consult for her, but we're back in the business now, so. Um, animal feeding tests, APCO procedures, Purina One Smart Blend provides complete and balanced nutrition for adult maintenance, we said that. And let's go to the analysis. So crude protein, 26%, that's good. Fat at 16%, that's good. Fiber, the max is 3%, perfect. Calcium, one, we're good. Phosphorus, 0.8, we're good. We talked about the calcium and phosphorus before. Um, they're right at the top of the reference range. These are minimums, um, so it means it can be higher than that. So if you have a dog that's a senior pet, I would probably, I mean, it's probably okay, but this is a minimum, so it could be more. And we know in senior pets, we have to be careful with calcium and phosphorus. So, I mean, it's fine, but just kind of keep that in mind if your specific concerns a senior pet. You might want to pick a senior diet versus this, but it's no biggie. Vitamin E should be greater than 400. So it's a little bit deficient on vitamin E. Um, they don't list vitamin C, um, but they do have some vitamin A and they have some glucosamine on there. So, you know, we have that to, we have that to reference. Um, did not list uh, the chloride or sodium on this particular, this particular food. So let me, what I think I'm gonna do is we're just gonna kinda do a little snippet of this and save it to the side here because we're going to do a side by side if I can finagle this on my computer. And we're going to pull something in the pro plan and see if it's like some earth shattering difference. So she said these are going to be more specific for like um, if you have a working dog or something like that, these are going to be more specific. And so let's see if we have just a, so we have a large and giant, we have the toy and small, and we do have some sensitive stomach, we have the sport, weight management, and an adult. So they do have a little bit more of a specific portfolio, um, but I don't know that that means they're specifically anything better. It's just, I think this is just uh, brand diversification. And so let's see, cognitive health, chicken formula, um, complete essentials, complete essentials, lamb, do they have anything that's just like a chicken? So here's like a shredded blend chicken and rice, so I think that might be the closest. They've got a new look. Love it when they do that, change the bag on us. Okay, so let's read the statement. Animal feeding tests, again, Super happy about that. Shredded blend chicken and rice, complete and balanced nutrition, all life stages. I am not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. It's all life stages, which means it is a puppy food. So including growth of large size dogs. So it's a large breed puppy food. Um, that's not cool because they're marketing it as an adult food, adult complete essentials, and this is a puppy food. And I'm really disappointed because this is supposed to be their premium version um but it's not going to be appropriate for just a regular adult um 
All right, I'm a bit at a loss here. I was not expecting that, to be quite honest. I guess we're gonna have to pick, um, well, we're gonna have to pick another one. I'm gonna do this cognitive health one because it's chicken and see if this is also all life stages. Okay, it's not. So we're gonna compare this one because it, I think it's gonna be the closest to the Purina one. So feeding tests substantiate that the cognitive health chicken and rice is complete balanced nutrition for maintenance of adult dogs. So I think they're calling this cognitive health because they've added some EPAs and DHAs to it. I don't think you have to be um, having a dog that's having cognitive issues to feed a pet a cognitive health diet just because it's got a couple extra things in there. And so I think that they have this on their pro plan portfolio because it is marketed to cognitive health. But let's see if you could feed this to your, um, you know, just your regular dog that's not having cognitive issues and would it be okay. So protein is at 26, that's good. The fat is at 16, that's good. Fiber is at three, that's good. Um, calcium and is at one, so that is good, and 0.8 is good. And then they have added in some of these other things, or at least listed them, because they very well may be in the other one, they're just not listed. They've added selenium, um, vitamin A, vitamin E. Now the vitamin E is better, because if you recall, the other one we said was a slightly, slightly below what we wanted. And so the vitamin E here is 500 and it should be greater than 400. So this is a little bit beefier on the vitamin E. Um, they don't list the vitamin C, so that's not on there. They've also added in some glucosamine, which you can see is not recognized as an essential nutrient, but they went ahead and added it in. So let's do an actual side-by-side, -side, although this is way longer than the other one, but Let's do an actual side by side. Okay, so we know they both fall in the right range, but let's just go through. So over here on the right, we have the Purina One adult chicken, and on the left, uh, we have the Purina Pro Plan um, cognitive adult chicken. So 26, 26, 16, 16, 3, 3, 12, they don't list um, arginine on the Purina. In order to keep this straight, I'll put like, um, we'll put, I'll put like this one's Purina one so we, you guys can see it a little bit easier. Um, but they didn't have arginine listed in the Purina one. They do have the um, linoleic acid, which is 1.4 on the one and 1.6 on the pro plan. And then of course they had these couple things, the DHAs and the EPAs that they don't have. The calcium is one, which is the same. The phosphorus is 0.8, which is the same. Vitamin A, a little bit more vitamin A in the pro, pro plan. Um, a little bit more vitamin E in the pro, pro, pro plan. And the glucosamine, it's also a little bit more glucosamine. And so I think it's going to boil down to the difference between these two. A lot of it is marketing. Uh, the Pro Plan does have, I would say, more appropriate um, vitamin E in it. And if you remember those guidelines that we researched in some of our earlier understanding nutrition labels were not, this is just the adult dog. This is actually what kind of sort of the minimum should be for just any dog. And so, to be quite honest, the um, Purina One was a little bit deficient in vitamin E and the Pro Plan did actually get it. So, um, the Pro Plan does seem to be a little bit better, um, but we had to hunt for the food. If we just picked off the Purina Pro Plan um, adult chicken and shredded chicken and rice or whatever formula, that would have been on all life stages, which which means it would have had way too much calories, more likely, most likely, um, for whatever reason, than it should be. Now, when we do the individual breakdown, it was it was fine, and it didn't have more fat than what was necessary. But I don't know why they would have labeled it as all life stages other than than laziness. So. I guess the long and the short of it is, this is why we do these reviews, because you really do have to read the labels. You can't trust the packaging and the marketing. And so this is a prime example. The Purina brand is extraordinarily diversified. 
and um, they do that because they want to appeal to all the buyers. Um, they want to appeal to people that want the colorful packages. They want to appeal to the people that want a more bougie food. They want to appeal to the people that want a more run-of-the-mill food. They just want to pick it up at the pet store. They just want to pick it up at the grocery store. They want to pick it up at the feed store. And so they're trying to cover all those markets. Um, so you are going to have to look at the package and you're going to have to use your brain when you're looking at these foods and know what parameters you need to be in when you're picking them out and know how to read the AFCO statement. I think both of these foods are fine. Everybody's going to ask me, well, which one do you pick? Um, I guess if I had to pick one, I would pick the Purina um, Pro Plan Cognitive one only because it did meet that vitamin E, but I mean cost wise let's just dig into that like what are we looking at the cost difference okay so we are just going to click on buy now because i can't find it on any website all right you can buy it at the good old amazon okay so it turns out that um they have changed the packaging yet again and renamed it bright mind so uh this is as you can see it's the same it's, it's the same food, they just changed the name on the bag again, which drives me nuts. But what we wanted to find out was cost-wise. So for a five pound bag, this is gonna cost you $16.48. Um, for a 16 ba pound bag, $36.98. And then a 30 pound bag is gonna cost you doesn't say. So your choices are 16 for 36 or 16.48 for a five pound. So that was the um, the pro plan. Now let's try the Purina One adult chicken. It was this one here. So the Purina One Smart Bread Natural Adult Dry Food, this was the one we reviewed, and you're gonna be getting a 31 pound bag for $35.99. So obviously, this is gonna be the cheaper bet. Um, you are going to get 15, basically 15 pounds more on um, the Purina One for the same price as you are on the Pro Plan. And so, is that vitamin E um, that important to you? Is having to either order it on Amazon or driving to a different store that maybe is not as accessible that important to you? There's no right or wrong answer. Um, it is what it is. I think both of these foods are perfectly fine. I would, if you came into my office and you were feeding either one of these, I would not even bat an eye. And to be quite honest, until today, I did not even know about that slightly different. Um, that slightly different amount of the of the vitamin E. And so who's the winner here? I think they're both winners. Um, I think the, ultimately we want our dog to be a winner and we want ourselves to be a winner. And so the lesson to be learned here isn't who's better, Purina One or Purina Pro Plan. The lesson is to pay attention to the labels and don't fall into marketing. Because the only thing really that I can see between the two, at least majorly, is the marketing. And we actually had to work harder to find the right food in the Purina Pro Plan um, portfolio. Because um, when we looked for the regular adult food, it actually was in all life stages, which is something we really don't want. And so that's the lesson here. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope it wasn't too lengthy and too PC and too weird and I went off on a tangent. But um, maybe you'll come back and we'll review something else in the future. Hope you guys had a good day and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.